welcome to the second tutorial of the uh, Weebly tutorials I'm running. This one we're going to be looking at a uh, the dashboard within Weebly and we're actually going to log in once we've created our account. So let's get started. So if you open your browser, as we touched on last time, you need to sign up. Um, but once you've done so and gone through the process, if you look in the top right hand corner, you'll see the opportunity to log in. So we'll just go in under my details here. Just log in, and then we'll find we're greeted with what we uh, what we probably call the dashboard. Um, so this is uh, predominantly um, your port of call for everything you need for the websites. So there's a number of areas here that you would be concerned with. Um, here we have a list of the websites. Um, the, the account type that I have here is a pro account, so I've actually paid to become a pro member, a professional member, um, and you can see this here um, under this section. The, uh, the benefits that come along with Pro, um, I'll list a bit later on, but you just get a lot more f uh, functionality, a lot more flexibility. The, um, the support process is probably a little bit more streamlined if you need any help from Weebly. So um, I'd seriously suggest you support the guys. They, they do a fantastic job. And of course, the funds that go um, from adding Pro accounts um, will assist them in developing new features. So ultimately, they'll help you in the long run as well. So here we have our dashboard and here's the list of sites. So as you can see, I have three sites listed. Um, within each one, it gives you the opportunity to edit that site. Um, it gives you some basic statistics on the site, such as user um, volume, uh, visitor volumes, um, where people have come from, that kind of thing. Nothing um, along the, the lines of Google Analytics or anything more advanced, but there's some good um, basic um, statistics that will get you started. And then under the more section, we have uh, the opportunity to look at blog comments that have been left on our site, look at any form entries, so if you have a contact us section or um, any forms on your website and you want to see a list of the entries, then you can see them here. Uh, and lastly, just be careful of this one, this is the delete site. Um, if you do click on delete site, it will prompt you, um, but once you've deleted it, it's gone forever, so just be careful of that. So if you want to create a site, obviously we'll click on the create a site button, and this gives us the opportunity firstly to um, to name the website. So um, on my website, I want to feature the badges that I make. So I make little pin badges, for example. So I'm going to call this uh, website Dan's Badges, and it gives us the opportunity to list what type of site it is. So here I'm going to say it's a personal site, and then I'll click continue. And then the next stage, it gives us three options. These three options are your um, domain name of the website. So the first one here is you want to use a subdomain of Weebly, which means that whatever you call your site will be followed by .weebly.com. So there will be that affiliation with Weebly, but hey, it's free and uh, it's a fantastic service. So I'm going to call my website Dan's Badges. And as you can see in real time, um, the dynamic search will tell you that this website is available. If I just go to something probably that will be taken, you'll see. So if I wanted to john.weebly.com, which is a common name you can see it's taken here and it tells you so so i'm just going to take it back to dan's badges and it's available the second option is to register a new domain so if you want to get rid of the weebly in the domain name you can do so here um, it gives you the opportunity to choose three um, uh, there's a dot com there's a dot net and there's also a dot org so if you wanted to choose that one you could potentially have the website name the domain name dansbadges.com uh, and lastly um, if you've already purchased the domain name, it gives you the opportunity to put that domain name in here. You can purchase them through Poldaddy. Um, there's a few others in uh, Australia, for example, as uh, Crazy Domains. There's a few other popular ones. So check them out for pricing and the kind of level of service. Just make sure they're reliable. So if you purchase them externally, the website you create with Weebly, you can actually have um, the domain name associated to that. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to choose the first one because I want the free one and just to have a have a go at creating a website so I'll click continue and then this takes us to the next stage so it said okay all the basics of the site are ready to go let's start making the site so here we're greeted with um, the main section um, so if you uh, the one button that we'll look at straight away just so you can kind of get things going and, and actually have a site to click on if you look at the top right here we have the publish button which is probably the most important button you'll use while creating your Weebly websites now this one actually um, obviously publishes the website but it makes it go live so anybody who goes to the, the uh, domain that you selected will see the website that you've published. Um, you can create anything within the website um, and not hit publish and nobody will see that so 
So um, if you want to tweak things or add new features or if you know it's going to take maybe two or three days to create a new page and you don't want people to see it, that's fine. Go ahead, create the page, just don't click on publish. And when people view your website, they won't see that that page that you're working on there. So for the purpose of this, we'll click on publish. Um, it just prompts you again, probably just to give you the opportunity to spend a bit of money with them and try and register a domain um, or use your own domain. But look, we'll just reconfirm that I want to use a subdomain of Weebly. So that's the first option. Then we'll click on continue. Um, and this will take a moment and it's published the website. So it's saying that um, good news, dansbadges.com is also available if we want that. Again, it's just prompting you, but I don't. I'm quite happy with dansbadges.weebly.com com for the time being. So this uh, this domain name here is actually hyperlinked. So if I click on that, it'll open a new tab for me. And here is the website that I created. So if I click back on the Weebly tab and I get rid of this box, you can see here is the kind of the template um, and the area where you create your site. And then if I click back onto the other tab, you'll see this is the actual site live and ready to go for people to see. So that's the first section, just the, just the very basics. You've logged in, a um, little brief description of what the domain is, how to get through to the site, and how to actually publish it and view the site. Um, so in the next tutorial, we'll drill a little bit deeper and we'll start actually putting things on the website, start creating um, some content in the website and we'll publish it and have a look at what it can do. Um, and also we'll go through some of the back end settings, just the basic settings, just to allow you to tweak it here and there. Um, so we'll drill a little bit deeper next.